Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep I will guide people on, on, on I will just do a very, very good video Which is what I'm doing, obviously On the guidance of how I put how 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 I approach portraiture, realism portraiture, just using pen because it's a different application technique compared to drawing using pencils or charcoal. When you want to accomplish realism and drawing with pen, right? You cannot match pen. Pen is just lines. You're just building structure based on lines, and. The other thing that I want to clarify is I think this is only excuse me this is this 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 will only be beneficial to people who already have a basics who already have basics when it comes to drawing right who can just draw who can just draw a portrait whether with pencil or what but then they just want to get it so has hyper realistic yeah so it will be beneficial for those type of people right so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I feel like, okay, look, the best way to be able, okay, it, it, it all starts with hatching. Hatching is whereby you draw, it's like you draw a lot of lines going the other way, right? And then you draw some other lines going the other way. Diagonal. If you're gonna hedge, you're gonna draw lines going this side, and then you're gonna draw other lines going the other side. And then they connect, they, they create a, a sort of a pattern, right? So if you want the pattern, if you want like maybe to, 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 to draw a smooth skin texture, what you have to do is those lines you make, you just draw them close together, right? The other side also close together, right? So if you want to approach portraiture using Pen. You need to better. You need to better your 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 hatching skills. I will show you around. I have a lot of of hatching exercises and all that, right? I have a lot. So I'm currently working on on on, on a real a realistic portrait from a picture. I will take you to the gym. And what I want to do again is before that, I will just show you what I what I meant about hatching. Right? This is the work that I'm currently busy with, right? This is the work that I'm trying to, I'm currently busy with. I'm executing it on paper, right? So, this is what I'm currently busy with. I've started. I did start with this side, right? So, I will, I will take you step by step on, on, on how it, how it happens. So, basically, if now you, you, you are able to draw, right? If now, okay, don't mind this, this is just me doing some stuff. If now you are able to draw, let me zoom in so that you guys are able to see, right? So basically, if you can execute something, if you can be able to draw something that looks realistic using pen or pencil or whatever, whatsoever, it's, 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 it's basically, we use the, I use the concept of hatching, right? And then you draw the opposite way, but then so that it creates this type of effect. But then when you do it, you do it in 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 very 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 small lines, and the distance is not that far apart, right? But then it depends on how smooth you want it to be, right? So what you do is you're gonna do a lot of 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 of, of this type of works. Just practicing doing doing it so that you you can do it so 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 fast, and then it's effortless. The more you do it, is the more you get comfortable in doing it, right? I I just feel like this is a broad concept. I feel like it, it would be better. Okay, so these over here are my practices, like what I do when it comes to hatching, right? So you can see it's a lot of lines going. Okay, this one is, is, is a mixture of hatching and scribble art. But then you can just see it's 
lines going this direction and then a lot of lines going the other direction so it creates this type of texture just like this right you can tell even here it's lines going the other direction and yeah all all these are just sketches i do when it comes to practicing right yeah so this is realism work that i did recently with pen this is pen for piano people right so for you to get this good you need to be this good you need to start to be good and come to hedging this is work that i'm still busy with right this is pen and paper this is i'm sorry for just recording a lot of things because this is next to it so you guys are probably going to ask me what it is but this is pencil this is pen so you can see this is the early stages of doing the work you can still see the hatches are still probably big right yeah but then i will redefine it and then it will be so beautiful after that right and then this this is work that i did few days back i just have to do a bit of detailing on it this is blow pen and paper blow pen and paper so you guys want to accomplish this style right realism work right so you have to do a lot of hatching this one i did it with a lot of hatching it's hatching 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 cross hatching even this is cross hatching right so this all these type of works will get you to be able to do this type of works and also these are my miniature realism ske sketches whereby i do a lot of hatching see these are small this is just 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 about the size of my hand so i do a lot of this so that i'm able to approach this right so it, it starts with hatching even small 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 portraits i started with hatching right to be able this is what i do to practice right and then after that all these works all these works that i do they help me to accomplish great works and then here you have hatching also hatching that i do so that uh it's it's pen right and then here it's it's me also practicing right i like to practice like do everything and then write just a bit of some code right this is realism work that i did right these practices that i do they help me to be able to accomplish this this is just blue pen and paper right i'm just left with a bit of detailing to 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 just finish it right so i will show you what i'm talking about okay i feel like this is a broad concept right i f and it will be better if you guys ask me questions direct questions on what to tackle because i've noticed that the only thing that i said is how to hatch basically and hatching is 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 just a broad concept there's a lot that you have to, that you can learn into it so i feel like if you can ask me how i do it if you can ask me specific questions then i can be able to to ask you right because i never taught someone how to draw with pen i never learned it from someone i learned it myself by trial and error so i feel like if you can ask me what you really wanna know then i can be able to to give you tips and everything but basically i gave you if you know how to draw paints or what then you know how to hatch then after you after after hatching then you just need a lot of patience that's it cool so you back at it again right so it's it's basically you understand understanding that your pen has 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 if you point it straight down like this it's bold the more you take it sideways the lighter it becomes right so as you hatch right if you want it to be darker you're gonna hatch with the entire point right a bit the more vertical it gets right it's the darker it, it, it gets right the more 
the more tilted it is the more you you get it like parallel to the ground the lighter it gets just like this so when you draw right as you hedge if you if you if if you wanna get a very 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 like dark place what you do is you're gonna you're gonna point it right you're gonna try to get it as vertical as possible but if you wanna get it lighter you tilt it a bit as perpendicular as as parallel to the ground to the to the to the to the ground as possible right but it's 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 trial and error it's finding how it works as i said i was never taught how to draw or whatsoever i learned it myself even this what i'm teaching you guys it's what i discovered myself right so i'm sharing how i do it this is not the perfect way of doing it but it's how i do it right yeah so it's just hatching but now when you hatch now if you want to accomplish realism you don't really hedge with so much spaces in between the parallel lines but then you decrease the spe the spaces that you're hedging then it will give you that realistic feel that soft texture that soft texture so let me just get going and and let me let me work on the portrait uh i'll, I'll try to really get a structure can you please suggest like a structure that i can use to be able to teach you guys on on on, on how to do these things and then after that i will post the progress on 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 my instagram right the progress pictures on my instagram and then i i will even post it on i will even post another video on my youtube so that you guys see the finished product of it but then if you have any questions you can just ask me on 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 on, on every platform I will be more willing to help you guys and answer it but for now let me just finish this and then just wrap it up